Hello, this is the energy vibration reading for all sun, moon, and rising Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember this is the month of June 2017. Listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. This is a good time. Please like, share these videos. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sending you guys love and pure light. This month of June is going to be a wonderful month. So open up to the energies and understand that changes has to happen, okay? As we look at the month of um, June, it's going to be the month of the chariot, okay? I'm using a totally different card set, but it's going to be a month of the chariot. The month of the chariot is the energy vibration of victory and success. It is a fire energy. You are a um, hair energy, so be aware of this. The month of June is going to carry the zodiac energy of uh, um, hair and fire and air and um, the the sense of hair in the beginning. So June is going to be air, air and water. So the month of June is going to carry the energy vibration of hair and water. So it's going to be a wonderful, fantastic month where hair and water is, um, if you're starting out the energy vibration of June with your with your sister energy of the Gemini's and this energy vibration is going to be brought out into this month. So the first um, two weeks of this month is going to be good. The third week, because this month has five weeks, the third week there is the energy of justice coming in and the other two weeks have the energy of fire and water. So be aware of the aspect that is going to happen in this month. The energy, the energy that you are focusing and you're going to use in this month it is the energy of the moon so your focus in this month is the energy of the moon the energy of the moon is going to be a very psychic month for the people who are psychic the energy vibration of the psychic is going to come out whether or not you're psychic or not the energy of the psychic energy is going to come out and it's going to affect you in a lot of ways so um if you realize that you you're seeing things and that sort of a thing. Don't just be freaked out. Um, always um, call me on clarity or that sort of a thing if you're having dreams. Because the first two weeks especially is going to have so much of a dramatic effect on your psychic. So be aware of what is happening for you Aquarians. Okay, because you guys are very psychic and um, the energy vibration of uh, um, this moon that is coming out and the energy of the full moon also in June is going to affect you and um, a lot of stuff are going to be removed away from you, okay? And that is going to break the cycles of certain aspects in yourself, so be aware of what is going on. It is a time when we are celebrating um, the, half, the first half of the year, the end of the first half of the year. And as always, I've always changed up my readings. And this is going to... It's going to be um, different because I'm using the astrological sign. So um, let's see. And um, I, I'm going to bring out something else to see what is happening um, for you guys here. And I am stepping away to go find something. So um, we are going to have a huge in-depth of information that will that you will be having because it's five weeks whenever it's five weeks i give more information okay so i'm asking the uh, angel and guide to show me um what the aquarians will expect in the first five weeks of the month of um of uh, um, april first five weeks. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. This is good. Okay. We need to understand that with every month, every week, the energy vibration changes for you as a sign. So we're going to begin with the first week. First week, um, the month is a sign of the chariot, which is a fire sign. And for you guys, you have the devil in the first week. The energy of the devil in the first week has an effect with your materialistic aspect. And for some people with your fertility, um, if you're trying to get pregnant, that's sort of a thing. 
but it's more an effect on your materialistic aspect. It's more an effect on love, in sharing love, on opening up your heart to love. So it's going to, whichever it's going to affect you. And who is it going to affect is women. This is going to have a huge effect on women in the first week. So you will find out that your relationships and that sort of a thing is going to come to an end, okay? But the relationships that you are having and that sort of a thing is going to come to an end. So uh, be aware of the situation and be understanding of whatsoever is happening. Um, be aware that certain aspect of certain situation is going to affect the women in the first week. For the men, it's going to be a week of a, a powerful um, awareness of where you are, your financial needs and aspect of who you are and how this is going to affect you. And um, the Empress is bringing you um, nurturing energies, but it's oh, she's also uh, working with the devil to um, align you in, with what you need. So um, it depends on how you manifest. Um, you're going to receive things that you wanted that you really don't want, but you will receive them, which is good things. Um, and good things for um, a you know, wonderful situation and that sort of a thing that is happening to you. So this is going to be good, okay? This is going to be extremely good. So the energy in the first week is going to affect most of the women and uh, most of the feminine attributes. So each and every one bring masculine and feminine side of you and it's going to affect you in the first week. But it's okay. Um, for the men, it's going to be a balanced week. As I look at, because I'm, I'm kind of giving you guys your own number, new, um, um, number, new, number, new all ago. Um, for you guys, you have um, the devil, one and five is uh, six, um, eleven, and uh, six, uh, that is uh, um, seventeen, seventeen and one is eight. So um, the energy vibration of eight is trampling, but we have three, so it's 11. So some people will have the energy vibration of um, eight, infinity of abundance, and some people will have 11, a portal. And that has to do with the psychic energy that is working with you in this month. So this is going to be wonderful. As we look at the second week, the second week, we have the energy vibration here um, with the two of a sword, the two of swords. So clarity is coming in about a relationship. Clarity is coming in about a relationship. And um, the energy of changes is happening in this relationship. And this is going to be extremely good. The changes that are happening in this relationship um, the negative energies are clearing away from a relationship, so this can affect you. Um, whether with your, you, whether with your, in your private life or in your work life or in your friendship, and clarity is coming in. There's a cleansing to certain aspects. So say you had um, problems in your relationship, um, friendship, and that sort of a, a situation. The tower is going to come in and cleanse this relationship and bring positive energy. There's a cleansing that is going to come in and bring positive energy. This is going to affect all of you guys in the second week, because the second week is the energy vibration of fire, and you will be having clarity to certain aspects of certain things, because you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is bringing um, information to you about friendship, about relationships that you are having about friendship and relationship that you are having. So be aware of what is taking place here. Okay, the energy of um, 18 and 2 is um, 20. 20 and 7 is 27. This is 9. It's more of a spiritual week for you guys um, in the second week because what is happening is that the energy vibration, um, once you are an... A, um, an Aquarius, uh, um, the energy vibration for you is a more spiritual because it's a cleansing, it's a week of cleansing in the second week. As we look at the third week, which is wonderful, I'm loving the third week. The third week 
carry the energy vibration of the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, this means a lot of money is going to come into you. If you had a legal situation, if you have a legal suit that was on the way, money is going to come to you. This is going to bring you money. Okay? Money is going to come like out of the, the wings of glory because um, the energy vibration of the Ten of Pentacles is here. And this brings you financial, this inheritance. Uh, it's going to be inheritance for some people. It's going to be a um, lawsuit for some people. It's going to be insurance payout for some people. So in the third week, remember this, you Aquarians, a huge amount of money is going to come to you. This is good. And this is coming from inheritance, lawsuit, whatever um, that was... And, you know, if someone died, leave you money, that sort of a thing. But huge amount of money in the third week is coming to you, Aquarians. This is going to be wonderful. Okay, as we look at the fortune week, we have the energy vibration um, of um, the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. So, um, the energy vibration in the fourth week is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles comes up with the energy vibration of the um, Hermit, and Hermit is brilliant. So uh, your inner wisdom is going to guide you to someone, or someone is going to come in your life with the energy vibration of the Queen of Pentacles. And if you had a situation with her, that you had an imbalanced situation, it's going to be cleansed, and uh, um, whatever negativity that was there, it's going to be cleansed, okay? so. Um, it's the end of a situation that you had with the Queen of Pentacles. If there was um, uh, um, differences that was occurring with your relationship, if there was, um, if there has been like um, you had quarrels or not even quarrels, but you were having a a, a situation with the, the Queen of Pentacles, um, it's going to be cleared up and it's going to be ill. So the energy vibration of the Queen of Pentacles is over always the tallest. Um, the Virgos are a Capricorn person. If you are having a situation with them, it's the end of that situation. If it was a negative situation, it's the end of that situation because here is coming a divine cleansing because um, the Hermit comes in and bringing in this cleansing to you and this is going to be profoundly wonderful in the fourth week. As we vibrate and we look at the fifth week we have for you, the energy vibration of the Ten of Wands. So in the fifth week, there is coming an end because um, there is coming an end to um, the burden that you have been carrying in the fifth week because they're all, the, 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 the Wheel of Fortune um, brings, um, is bringing in the opposite of the Ten of Wands. So wherever that was happening, and this was a situation that was happening at your house. There is an ending. So say that there was problems in your house, you have problems selling your house, whatever situation that has to affect your house. If you don't have a situation that is affecting your house where you live or that sort of a situation, it has to do with your 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 mighty iron present self, your your home, your within your your I am present self. Okay, so if you weren't having a situation with your home and that sort of a thing, realize and look at this and realize it's the end of a burden. The end of a burden. The wheel of fortune is bringing you um, the opposite of this burden that you have been carrying. And if this burden with a house and a situation, it's bringing an end. So at the end of June, if you had a situation with a house and that sort of a thing, there is going to be an hint that is coming in, and this is going to be healing. So, again, um, I'm loving this because uh, as I look at your overall month, there is a lot of healings coming in, a healing is coming in. Whatever the situation in this healing that is coming in, this burden that you have been carrying with a house situation, it could be where you live, it could be a house that was left to you, whatever 
that the situation is going on in the third week it's going to be sold this is this is a message for certain people out there if you had a situation so it says your family died and left you a house or that sort of a thing of um say um you're trying to sell your house it hasn't been it has been on the market for so many years uh, um, it is costing you a lot of pain, a lot of burdens, and that sort of thing. It's going to be ended, okay? So some of you will get your house sell if you, um, it's as if the contract is going to, um, the money is going to transfer like in the third week. Uh, some of you who are um, buying a house, but this is more of selling a house because you are going to be receiving money. So, you know, be aware of what is going on for you guys in um, the month of June because uh, for the women, um, the friendship is going to be extremely, it's going to be cleansing of certain friendship in your life. Okay. So be aware of that. Sorry. <laughs> for some people, um, yeah, so it's, you know, Money is not going to be a um, um, problem for some of you Aquarians. If it is so, that means you haven't been um, vibrating in the, the positive energy vibration of money. Okay, love. Love is not really the focus of your mind. Um, love is there with your friendships, with your partner. Um, that the love is there with your friendship or partner, but it's not one of the most important aspects. Uh, love is in the house, um, the, the connection with your family, that sort of a love is there. So love is there, and love is around you in your house, and it is also um, connecting with other people, your best friend, good friends, that sort of a thing, and your partner is love. But a lot of money cleansing is happening to cleansing cleansing with relationships and certain aspects um cleansing with a situation what you had and conflict with uh, energy vibration of the, the queen of pentacles that is going to be healed in the month of june okay Alrighty, i am going forward and i'm looking at certain aspects because i've changed up your reading and we're going to see what sort of astrological aspect is affecting you guys this first um part is for the sun I, I, uh, the sun so for the people who are um, vibrating with the sun energy because you have the sun and the moon energy vibration sun moon and rising sign <clears throat> okay for uh, the aquarian sun moon and rising sign you will be affected by the aries um the aries zodiac people okay so be aware, um, a lot of um, situation will be affected um, by um, the zodiac, the energy sign of the Aries people. So you will, for the, the people who are of the sun energy vibration, so if your Aries is of sun, then you will be affected by um, the Aries people, the Aries zodiac people. So be aware of this, okay? And what we also have is uh, um, the planetary system that is working and that is Saturnus. Uh, Saturnus. Saturnus is the planet of Saturn. And I love this because it's the Greek goddesses, so it's uh, their real name, Saturnus. And this is going to awaken you and release something from you. And for some people, it's going to be the house. For some people, it can be relationship. For some people, it has been the burden that you have been carrying. So for the Aries sun sign, what is going to affect you in the month of June is going to be the energy vibration of the Aries people, and they will be working with the energy of Saturn. So Saturn, the planet of Saturn, is going to affect you and the energy vibration of the Aries people are also going to affect you. And as I look forward and I'm looking deeper to see why is um, the Aries affecting you um, water sign people because uh, um, they are fire and you are water. 
we need to um, adjust and align with certain aspect of, of what is happening because you see the energy of the sun and the sun sign people is the, it's the strongest element of who you are as a person so at the heart of uh, you know everything the source of all things is the warmth the strength and the growth of all things the celestial beam of the sun and whenever um, uh, these aspect begins uh, to affect you we will look at uh, why it is affecting you the the, the, the Aquarian sun sign and you know um, Saturia, um, Saturius okay um, um, affecting you because Saturius is uh, um, is Jupiter representing the broad walk of expansion and limitation of opportunities and Saturn so this is this has to do with a whole lot of obstacles and challenges that will be um, aligning because this is an astrological sense of Saturn bringing structure and law to the human and endeavor which can um, remove um, challenges and obstacles so this is what is going to happen for you guys for the sun sign of you Aquarians the challenges and obstacles are going to be moved out your way which I feel and I think is a wonderful wonderful aspect of uh, you know changes coming in in your life and what else is going to happen to you Aquarians with the energy vibration with your Sun Aquarius is that uh, you're you're letting enthusiastic uh, burn brighter of okay. you know that sort of uh, um, energies and it's going to be extremely wonderful and you know you your 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 innovation light of truth is going to come out so for you um, Aquarian Sun sign people the, the, the truth is going to be released to you. It's as if you're going to ask for the truth in the universe. It's going to release the truth to a situation to you in um, this month of um, of June. So, you know, really, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving this for you. And as I try to vibrate with the aspect of why is this happening, is that you're cleansing a situation with the energy vibration of the Aries, which is um, extremely good. So, you know, but find that inner sense of you connecting with um, these Aries people to clear whatsoever that has been going on. As I look at uh, this, the moon, the moon section for you, Aries, um, the moon, what is happening for you, moon, is that the intuition. Whenever you um, vibrate with the energy of the moon, it's always the intuition, the expression of the, the beings, the unseen world, that sort of a thing. And here you're guided by the moon in this month also. So this is, um, a, you know, a good situation that is happening. So what do we have for you as uh, the energy vibration for the moon? Um, the, the Aquarians moon people you have uh, to deal with certain aspects with the Leos so it's like um, the Leo is the, it's a moon into vibration so it's as if okay whatever it is the Leos you have the Leos in the moon sign that is working in the unconsciousness that it's uh, working in the aspect of you know you move working with the aspect and the Mars energy and what is Mars Mars is connected um, with um, with a water sign and Mars is connected with the energy of you know the, the water people the the, 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 the the unseen world and this is extremely good so now I understand the energy for the moon coming out for you, um, Aquarians, moon uh, rising, because um, 
you are aligned in certain aspects because Mars is the planet of war and inner strength, okay? It represents the energy of power and, uh, you know, attracting that sort of a thing. Um, the planetary beings of, you know, fine alignment, of the ability and that sort of a thing. So Mars is the power. Mars is going within. Mars is connecting in a powerful way. And, you know, with the connecting in a powerful way on the astrological level, you are going to see changes coming in your life, the changes that you weren't expecting. Because um, the, 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 the planet of um, um, the moon with um, Mars this is a wonderful aspect of the releasing the power. It's keep keep control of your temper. You need to keep control of your temper, but yet still you need to feel in the moment where you lies within the now, the now aspect of this. So for you, um, moon rising people, it's going to be an adventurous month um, for you guys. The, 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 the soul energy of the adventure is going to come out for you guys because Mars is going to be working with the aspect of who you are. So, you know, it's, it, it's going to be something of a um, strong vibrational energies. I'm working with um, the Vortex card, and the Vortex that we have for you is, by default, I could have attract unwanted relationship, and God knows I do. Uh, are they unwanted? No, they're not. But they are situation that you could not attract. Let's say it like that. Like you met someone and you know from the beginning off that it's nope. But yet still you kind of go with this person. And it's like many of the relationships or Ex experience you have attracted, you would not have deliberately accepted these sort of a situation in your life by being on the process. But much of your attraction is not done by deliberation, intent, but by rather the the the, the, the default default. So the default is when you know. No, this is not feeling good. This is not feeling good. But yet still, you go ahead with the situation. Okay, I'm hoping that this video comes out good because I forget my headsets as usual. So I want to say to you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful energy and a wonderful time. And I'm saying to you guys, have a wonderful um, June. Please rem remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Please um, connect with um, artelina.com. I am doing her again. I so love her stuff. And I want to say namaste until folk in the land.